Hello and welcome to In My Element. This is a physics lesson on speed. Now, we need to know if you can write a definition of speed. Can you explain what speed is? So you've got three images there. One of an old-fashioned stopwatch timer, one of a speedometer and one of a car. What would you say speed is? Okay. When we calculate speed, which is what we're going to do, it tells us how fast an object is going. It doesn't matter what that object is. That is what speed calculates. To do this, you need to know at least two things. To calculate speed, you need to know the distance the object travels and the time it's taken to travel that distance. Now, you can write the equation like this, speed equals distance over time. Something that we really recommend is that you learn this formula triangle here. So the D represents distance, S for speed, T for time. You will also need to know the units that are used for speed and they can vary depending on the object. OK, so um, you will quite often have metres per second. That will mean that the distance has been measured in metres, the time has been measured in seconds, so therefore the speed is calculated in metres per second. You might have miles per hour, so that would mean that the distance has been measured in miles and the time has been measured in hours. Be careful with hours because if it's 0.5 an hour, obviously that's 30 minutes. Sometimes you might have to convert between... Um, hours, minutes and seconds so that you're either doing uh, measuring in seconds or in hours. The other one there is kilometres per hour. That means that the distance must be recorded in kilometres and the time must be recorded in hours. Now, like I said, you need to be able to use this formula triangle and you should be able to calculate speed uh, using the information you've been given. So I've got an example here for you. That the car travels down a road um, 1,800 metres and it takes 90 seconds. Now, you should be able to know from that what the units are that the speed is measured in. We're talking metres and seconds, so it's quite straightforward. In our formula triangle, we just pop back to here. In this formula triangle, we've got DST. Now, the S being the speed. This means it's distance divided by time. You substitute in for distance uh, 1,800 and for time 90. That will give you the answer of 20 metres per second. So the car has travelled 20 metres in one second. OK, another example. Man walks to the shop. The shop is three kilometres away and it takes him 30 minutes. Calculate the speed the man is walking. Now, pay attention here. When we talked earlier, we talked about kilometres per hour. It's not in hours. It's in minutes. So you've got to convert those minutes to hours. So you're using speed equals distance over time again. So you've got three. But notice we've not used 30. So the three, the distance was three kilometres, so we've got three, and then 0.5, because 30 minutes is half an hour. So the speed that man has walked is six kilometres an hour. When you're doing these calculations, remember you might not always be given the distance and the time, you might be given the speed instead and missing one of the other measurements. So you might be missing the distance, for example. To calculate the distance, that means you haven't got the distance here, but you have got speed and time. And if you imagine there's a little multiplication sign here, that means that distance is equal to speed times time. OK, and if we want to rearrange it again and we take away the time because we've been given the distance and the speed and we want to know the time it's taken for the object to move, we do distance divided by speed. We hope you found this video useful. Please make sure you remember to click subscribe on YouTube to follow in my element for all their updates.